Republicans say that they see signs that California is slowly turning away from progressive liberalism. Asian Americans could be a major part of the evolution of this state, a demographic that works hard and wants a clean and safe community, no longer has much in common with the Democrat Party. Today, I sat down with Congresswoman Michelle Steele, who turned her orange, uh, or turned her blue uh, district red back in 2020. Take a look. You're a Republican success story in a state where there's not a lot of those success stories in California. You turned your district from blue to red in 2020. Mm -hmm. You're going to try and do it again and, and keep the seat here in about a month. Um, how did you do that? What, what messaging worked to turn this district? Just worked hard because it never happened in California since 1994, so I'm very proud of that. But at the same time, people want to hear that what they are really concerned. Right now, same thing to 2020. Crime was a really big deal for California, and they tried to defund the police. I've been always supporting law enforcement, and I've been working with them together. Asian Americans uh, in California, it's a big population of people here, mm -hmm. and it, it does seem like they're moving maybe away from the Democrat Party. I'm sure you feel that. What, what can you say about that? You know what? They feel the same way with other mainstream people. So they're still thinking about the infl inflation, gas prices, mm -hmm. because I heard that you know one gas station right now that hit $8 per gallon. And you know state tax, actually I sent a letter out to Governor Newsom to suspend the state gas tax. Mm -hmm. Instead of they suspending it, they raised it from 51 cents to 54 cents. Even they suspend the 54 cents, California pays the highest. So even Asian American community that my new yeah. district, 37 percent of population are actually Asian Americans, but they think the same way, less inflation, Right. Less gas prices. Well, Asia, and Asian Americans hard. work hard. They probably work the hardest of any population of people in this country, I would say. And I don't think that the current Democrat Party uh, represents people that work hard. I, I think they've abandoned that class of people. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. You know what? They think that money comes from taxpayers' pocket. Right. That's the difference. Right. We work hard and we work for the people, hardworking people. An hour north of here, if that, Joe Biden is here um, boasting of his Inflation Reduction Act on the, on the same, the timing, by the way, of this administration, it's hysterical. The same day that the inflation numbers came out, 8.2% mm -hmm. CPI, Biden is in Los Angeles talking about his Inflation Reduction Act. Your thoughts? Inflation Reduction Act, it's kind of a joke because they're going to put $80 billion yeah. on IRS and they're adding 87,000 IRS agents more. That means actually IRS agents are much bigger number than you combining all together with Pentagon, State Department, and Border Patrol and FBI. That's a joke because IRS is supposed to train people, help people, customer service, and they're supposed to help taxpayers, not auditing. So that's going to hurt middle class mm -hmm. people. You said that the, the party is, is really coming after you. Uh, and young Kim as well. Um, I mean, but let's just be honest. You're a minority woman. You're supposed to be a Democrat. I'm sure they're very angry that you are not. Do you think that's a lot of the problem that they have? I think they have more problem because as a first generation, I have an accent. I speak Korean as my first, Japanese my second, and English my third. I achieved the American dream. Maybe they're jealous about that. <laughs> that's why she is in Republican side, not Democratic right. side. Right. You, well, you're supposed to be on their team. I mean, they, they, they love diversity as long as you vote their way. Well, then, you, as soon as you don't, then it all changes. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? I became Republican because I had a reason. My mother was accused that 
you know, cheated on taxes. That's the reason that I started my public office. So I've been Republican since I became a citizen here. And I'm very proud of that. And you know what? I love this country.